Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre maintains that the government is only guaranteeing the $20 million loan from the National Insurance Corporation, NIC, to the St. Lucia Development Bank, SLDB, and not borrowing the funds. The House met on Tuesday to seek permission from Parliament to authorize the loan guarantee. Pierre says the SLDB has not defaulted on any of its borrowing agreements. The loan will be repaid over a period not exceeding 20 years with quarterly payments of interest during the first three years, followed by quarterly installments of principal and interest. This favorable financing arrangement will enable SLDB to unlend these funds at competitive rates, ensuring the bank's ability to continue its crucial role in, an, in national development. And Mr. Speaker, I want to reiterate that the government is not borrowing the money for the SLDB is borrowing the money from the NIC and the government is just guaranteeing it in case there is a default. And from the history of the, of the bank, you'll see that there's been no default as far as it's borrowing from National Insurance Corporation. According to the Prime Minister, the funds will be utilized to bolster key sectors, which are pillars of the economy. This includes an affordable housing initiative. Mr. Speaker, you may recall in my budget address this year, I indicated that this year would have been the year of infrastructure. And I, was, and I mentioned several times that infrastructure does not only include roads and bridges and culverts. It also includes houses and hospitals and schools, etc., Mr. Speaker. And I want to tell you, Mr. Speaker, talking on hospitals, on Friday in this very room, we're going to finalize the funding for the St. Jude Hospital. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, so the 20 million EC dollars will be used, one, affordable housing initiatives. Mr. Speaker, the loan will finance land purchases and the development of affordable housing projects including low to medium income families with access to self-sustainable and cost-effective homes. Prime Minister Pierre says the bank especially intends to target public officers, including policemen, teachers, nurses, doctors, with special emphasis on first-time homeowners. Housing Minister Richard Frederick argues that individuals who oppose the loan guarantee are against the development and empowerment of ordinary residents. That guarantee, Mr. Speaker, at 3%, which, mean, which means the unlending would be about four, four and a half percent. Would be an unprecedented interest rate for civil servants in this country. And I want you to, everybody around this table, to give themselves a round of applause. Because civil servants would have never seen such a facility. In the first place, you don't need a deposit, you get 100 percent financing. Opposition Senator Bradley Felix sought further clarification from the government on who qualifies for the loan. Um, I think it's, you know, very important if the government is playing such a significant role that, you know, they have some input because the, 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 the funds are supposed to help out. And I heard the Prime Minister speak to, to low income in particular. And, and, and that's my other question. I want to know whether it's this loan is going to be made available in particular to individuals. I, I, I heard he mentioned public servants, low income. Um, I'm not sure whether the, the housing authority will be a beneficiary of a loan from the SLDB as well, Mr. Speaker. But these are the questions that you know, I would like to, 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 to identify to, 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 to get answers from the, from the Prime Minister. Additionally, public servants will be eligible for a grant of $1,000 to pay off their legal fees. The government will also exempt stamp duty for any mortgage less than $400,000. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.